The Boston Marathon is now underway. And here's video from the course from just a short time ago where the first waves of runners have already left that starting line. 30,000 runners from 122 countries will compete. And this year marks the 50th anniversary since women first started competing in the Boston Marathon officially. 12,000 women are registered this year. You've run the marathon yeah, a in Boston times. a couple it's times. Yeah, a such a great marathon. I mean, there's people at every single yeah. section of that marathon. It's well, amazing. To a certain degree, perhaps you can look to a Minnesotan uh, right? as a trailblazer I love this here. Story. Val Rogasheski. She's one of just eight women who crossed that finish line the first year women ran in 1972. And this morning, she fired the starting gun for the <laughs> elite women's race. Our David Schumann caught up with her as she prepared. The familiar trot down her front steps in Minneapolis, and Val Rogasheski is ready. I've always loved movement. Not just idle jogging, she's training for the first time in a long time. Kind of the last race I was in was 25 years ago. <laughs> that race was the 1997 Boston Marathon, the 25-year anniversary of a historic run. That first year, there were eight of us. This year, there's only, I think there's over 14,000 women. Val finished Boston the first year women were allowed to race, 1972. That was my po most painful one ever because I wasn't really ready for it. She was 25 then, finished sixth of the eight women without ever stopping to walk. Now, at 75, Val's going back and running it again. Right at Wellesley College. And that first year going by there, they were like, right on, sister. You know, and it was just wonderful and now this year they're all gonna look like my granddaughters <laughs> val won't be alone on the course her two daughters and a cousin all marathoners too are running with her and she's going in with some strategy run 30 seconds walk 30 seconds no exceptions i'm really feeling like that's probably the only way i can do this run <laughs> whatever it takes to get it done a lesson Val learned 50 years ago. I've almost felt embarrassed about saying, well, yeah, I didn't really work for it. I just showed up. But then I start realizing the power of showing up. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Oh. Show up, she did. That's great. And a great lesson there. The power mm -hmm. of showing up mm -hmm. is a big deal. For it's sure. a big deal. This is Val's fourth time that she'll have run Boston, her eighth marathon overall. Yeah, so good luck to Val, and good luck to all of those yeah. runners out there today. Such an so achievement. Exciting. Right. Yeah. Earth Day is 